Hi friends, Amy Seifert here, Bible teacher and author of Starved, and today we are continuing our series on the Beatitudes, looking at the fourth one, which says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Or maybe we could hear it like this, truly well off are those who are starving for something they do not have, that wrong things are made right and they will be fed. But let's remember a few things about this monumental Sermon on the Mount. These blessings are not prescriptions, like do this and you will be truly well off. They were descriptions. Even if this is you starving, you are invited to Jesus's table. Secondly, this entire discourse was shocking to the hearer. The Jewish leaders were used to hearing a dominant narrative that God has only blessed a certain kind of person. And it was a narrow list, Jewish males who were healthy, wealthy, and holy. And I have done this too. I have made lists in my head of who is invited and who is not to the kingdom of God. And when I do this, my soul is malnourished and my list oppresses others. But here, Jesus is passing out blessings like wedding invitations to the least likely. Jesus is inviting Gentiles and females and sinners and sick and the most unacceptable in society to the kingdom of God if they'd like to accept it. And this includes those who are starving for things to be made right in relationships and from injustices. So this idea of righteousness is the Greek word dikaiosune, an idea combining both giving people their rights and living rightly among people. And the promise, God will fill them from his own table. So if this describes you today, I want you to know you are not alone. Jesus himself hungered and thirsted for Dikaiosune, so much so that he drank the cup that led to the cross. And the cross became the place where all unrighteousness is turned to righteousness, both mine and yours. Jesus' body was blessed and broken so that we could feast and flourish, so we can live out this way of life, not from our own power, but from the power that comes from the table of Christ. So today, take this promise with you. God has given those who are starving for all things to be made right a standing invitation to his dinner table every day of the week.